Hi guys, it's Unodamite and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Now, last time I've showed you how to unlock the zombies. I've showed you how to get the sub million to working. Today, I want to show you actually how you can get more zombie juice. If you don't know, basically, uh, like you get to the point in the game where you can try to create zombies, right? You need to get the resurrection table and from here, using faith, a corpse, and I think called zombie juice, you can create yourself additional like workers that can work around your uh, graveyard and, and, and workshops and can basically deliver you like the rough materials needed for like production and stuff like that. But the thing is that, how do you make a zombie juice, right? I mean, faith you get from the church, the corpse are delivered from the donkey, right? So unless you get to the point with the game where you have to pay him carrots, that's like a freebie anyway. But the zombie juice is a little bit more problematic, okay? Now, if you want to create that thing, uh, you first have to unlock alchemy. Now, the thing with alchemy is that, uh, if I can only remember where it was, <laughs> because I never remember what it is, uh, the thing with alchemy is that you first need to go visit your good friend, uh, the witch, okay? Without her, you cannot unlock alchemy. Ah, there it is. You cannot unlock alchemy without the witch. You need to go to the witch and you need to speak with her. After that, you get the beginning of alchemy. This is the thing that you need to research, okay? I don't think you need anything else. You just need to get this thing because you need to manufacture one resource in order to get the zombie juice. And how exactly you're gonna get that thing? It's quite simple. The zombie in the cellar, north of the church, the one that actually unlocks you the zombies, tells you that the zombie juice requires two ingredients, and one of them is blood. How you get blood? Well, you get blood at the very beginning of the game. Um, I have like a bunch of it, so I'm just gonna take like a few. Uh, you unlock the blood at the very beginning of the game, right? It's richly over here. From the preparation table in the anatomy and alchemy, you get the first research, right? And then richly next to it, you have the blood and fat, which are actually needed in order to increase the quality of the corpse. So I think you're gonna have blood like for days. You're gonna have like tons of blood. The second thing that you're gonna require will actually uh, require from you to unlock the farm, okay? You need to have materials from the farm. Now, you need to either have the crop waste, which is okay, uh, or you can have, if I could only find it, I think the cabbage, right? So, either the cabbage, either the crop waste, probably something else. I think the pumpkin also works. I'm not sure about it, but I think the pumpkin also delivers you the necessary ingredient. If I only found a pumpkin, that is. Okay, I don't think I have a pumpkin with me. Yeah, I don't have a pumpkin. But the pumpkin, right? So if you can grow a pumpkin, basically, I think you get the idea. So you need to have the uh, the, pump, the cabbage, the crop waste, or the pumpkin. Now, if you get those materials, the only thing you need to do is go to your workshop, to the alchemy workshop, which you can build only, I think, in the church cellar. And you have to go to the thing that will produce you the powder, right? So you're gonna produce the powder first. The powders are getting created at the alchemy mill, right? So let's put the crop waste first and see how many powder we're gonna get. We get a health powder, we get one. I think from the cabbage you may get two or from the pumpkin you get two. No, you get from the cabbage two. So with those things, you have to go to the alchemy table level one. Right, I have the level 1 and level 2. The level 2 won't work, because this one accepts 3 ingredients and you need to use 2 ingredients only. So this is the basic alchemy workshop thingy. You add the blood, you add the... Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong order. You add the health powder and you add the blood and you order to craft. And after like a minute or two, you're gonna get the zombie juice. And richly, the zombie juice... Uh, okay, that was actually not necessary. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. And after that, the only thing you need to do is actually use the resurrection table. And if you don't know, the resurrection table required from you a dead corpse, which you put over here. And then you have to use the zombie juice along with 10 fate and you get yourself a new worker. So hopefully this has solved you the problem how to create more zombies. You start the game receiving free zombie juices and you get one free zombie from the rock pile north from your house. So basically that gives you four. And there are like a lot more workstations in the game that will allow you to use the zombies. So basically, if you want to automate almost everything, you will require actually to have more zombies. But yeah, I think with this one, 
you'll be able to make yourself an entire army. So go ahead, make an army, conquer the world, have fun. <laughs> for now though, I think this is all the stuff I have for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please subscribe a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.